I think uh, another piece I see is the, pers uh, the um, concept of what is success. When we look at it from kids who are struggling with mental uh, health concerns or depression or anxiety, for them, maybe success cannot be defined in a GPA number. Success could be showing up for classes. Success could be keeping one safe. Success could be keeping one socially um, engaged, you know? So we, yeah. we have to step away that uh, that our well-being of our student cannot just be reflected by their GPA scores. Uh, that's why I feel the policies, we still look at the lens from the lens of equality, not equity. Not every kid has the same pace, will not grow in the same way, or will adjust to college life in the same way, or you know, will be right away scoring high GPAs. And that's the piece not only parents have to understand, but I also work with uh, academicians and college professors to understand that. That said and done, um, I think uh, important piece again is that for the parents, as much as it's an individuation process for the uh, for the children to become this adult, but we as parents know they are like half-baked adults, right? They are on surface, they become adults, but they still have that vulnerability. And for the longest, we have been the official protectors of them and moral authority on them. And it is very hard struggle for parents to let go and cut that um, umbilical cord and give the space uh, to their kids to grow and be who they want to be. I think I see a lot of um, struggle there. Parents want uh, uh, like uh, have these expectations that they are gonna just grow into this person, go to this career and will do this. You have to step back and understand it is no more. You have done a good job. You <laughs> made sure they have good values. Now you have to trust your training. You don't have to be the helicopter and just sure every day. You have to trust it and give them that space to grow. They will make mistakes. We did. Uh, we don't want to acknowledge it. But <laughs> <laughs> we, we did. We learned. And it's not ever going to happen that, oh, learn from my mistakes. No, they will falter. They will make mistakes. But what we need to ensure is they don't fall. And they continue to walk through this journey. And that's where the supportive parent comes in. That I think the biggest challenge for this generation already is social isolation. They are very media connected, but not on a personal level. And so much more important to have that support system around them, be it family, peers, friends, support groups, but also the academic staff has to be their support has to be there and alive. So um, I think that's that's my message to the parents, that it is hard, but it is time to step back and be that friend, that ally, and let them make mistakes, but just be sure that you are there to help them stand up again. <laughs>